Okay, so here's the setup. It's a simple laser pointer with uh, some kind of glass container. You're going to want thin, very clear glass. The electromagnet there, shown in detail in this picture. And then on the bottom, we've got some DIY magnetic powder. Instructions below on how to make the magnetic powder in a separate video. And then we've got a magnifying glass. I've also got a nice, strong, permanent magnet set a ways away from the container. Now, this acts like a base, so when this magnet turns off, this, uh, this nail will still have a little bit of magnetivity in it. This is over here is just enough to overpower it. And then playing with the distance and the multiple, you can also have multiple magnets. You can vary where the, the magnets base back to home when there's no audio signal. And then you'll get a projection up on the screen here, when the screen is just a wall. And so if I turn on some music here, you probably can't see very well with the camera, but with the magnifying glass projected onto the wall, you can see quite a bit. And it dances quite nicely to the music. Uh, you got to find the right, obviously I've got it too, hot, uh, too low here. Uh, or actually this is reversed. This is down and this is up. So I've got the nail too too low, and it should be I should open the space more and try to put it in the middle. I think uh, the various positions give you various different types of uh, effects. But if I move the laser around, you'll see that this is the point directly between the nail and the the nail comes down here, and then this is the bottom of the glass holding the ferrite that's being pulled away by the magnet. Very simple little setup. Just a magnet, a magnifying glass, a laser pointer, a piece of glass, um, some magnetic powder, uh, an electromagnet, and an audio amplifier. Uh, you need to amp it up quite a bit. I'm thinking you need to get up to about 15 volts to make it work very well. But So it's not as simple as I put out, but everything is fairly easy to get. The electromagnet I hand spun, but you should be able to buy one. Just buy a little electromagnet and you're good.